No, we're good? Okay. Okay, I want to welcome everybody to our signing day. This is our second signing day. Um, we have seven student athletes that are signing today. I'm Julio Lopez. I'm the head football coach and athletic coordinator here at Eastwood. And behind me are seven of our, our football players and their families waiting to make a dream a reality. Um, anytime that we go through a signing, there's a couple people that I always like to thank first. Uh, first off is just administration, and that's at our school level, that's at the district level. This year was so unique in so many different ways for how we had to handle things, from COVID testing every week to you know things that we would have never in a million years thought we would have had to have done as part of a football season or a school year. And yet here we are in 2021 having to do all of it. And at the same time, trying to run athletics during a pandemic. And I thought we've done and, have, and did during the football season an amazing job. And we couldn't have done that without the, the tireless work of our administration. So to our administration here on campus, led by our principal, Mr. Martinez, to all the way up to the top of our district with Dr. De La Torre and everybody that worked so hard to make this a reality, we just wanna say thank you and, and we couldn't have done it without you. The next group I, I would like to recognize, and with seven football players here today, you know, I, I think they would agree, and, and, and you'll see when they speak, um, as they give their thanks, these men are, are a big part of what, you know, they've been able to accomplish is the staff. My staff here at Eastwood is top notch. It's a staff that I'm grateful for. Um, it's a group of men that are, that are great coaches, but more importantly, understand the value in building the student athlete up as a person, um, the whole student athlete, not just as a player, not just with technique, not just on a Friday night, but for four years, um, or however long we have them in our program, being able to mold them into a, a young man that is ready to go out and conquer society. And I'm very fortunate, um, I'm very lucky to have the staff that I do, I'm very lucky that that I've been able to work with them, you know, for some for all six years, and for some that we brought in over the years, they've all been home run hires. So we can all give the staff uh, a round of applause. I know a lot of them are here in front. The next group I, I want to talk about are, are the student athletes themselves. You know, the, these kids, it's been so fun to see them grow over the years. Um, Going back to some of them for with their seventh and eighth grade years when we were first hired in 2015, seeing them at our youth camps, even those years, all the way up to their senior year, they've had to battle through so much. It's been an amazing journey. It's been a journey that I don't think they would have ever thought they would have gone through either. Um, you know, having no fans, having to test every week. Uh, it's just, it, it's been a, a crazy experience. But one that I know all of them will look one day back fondly up. They all were a big part and an integral part of giving us the seasons for some of them that were part of two district championships here and all the success that we've had over the last couple of years. You know, they're a big, obviously a big part of that and the main reason why. And that's all because of their hard work. That's because of everything that, the, the commitment they had, the consistency they had day to day to make it happen in our program. So to all the athletes here that are signing, that are making a dream a reality. We wanna congratulate them, we wanna wish them luck moving forward, um, and they will always be troopers, no matter what colors they're gonna wear the next four or five years, they will always be troopers and always have a home here at Eastwood High School. So let's give them a round of applause. And then lastly, the group that, that I always love um, congratulating more so than anybody else, um, are the families and all the families that are sitting at the table. Um, I, you know, we talk about how a year has been so different and a year has been so crazy and things that we thought we would never go through. Um, and yet here we are and they're signing, which would normally have a huge crowd, normally have all the fanfare and all the, you know, the, the, you know, the stands filled. And here we are live streaming it with a, a small select group of people, but you know, it's just been, it, it's an amazing cap to a year that has been absolutely, I'm sure, crazy for them as parents. The other day, my son, I was telling this story to a couple of our parents, but my son started his, his t-ball league again, and only one parent is allowed to go. So my wife called dibs and said, I'm going to the first one. So obviously, I, she's the boss at home. I, I follow orders there. 
But, you know, basically, you know, there I am with my daughters watching a Facebook live stream of my seven-year-old son t-ball game, gritting my teeth and so mad because I'm not at the game. And when she came home, the first thing that we started talking about um, after, you know, we talked to Chase and all, you know, about his game and all that, the first thing that we brought up were all the families, you guys, because I can't even imagine what this year was like for you having to tune in every Friday night or Saturday at noon or Monday night and having to watch your baby, the seniors, after a lifetime of work, after a lifetime of taking them to Little League practices, uh, buying equipment, you know, being there from six to eight at Album Park or wherever you practice, and here's their senior year, the cap of their year, and you have to watch it on TV. And that's all I could think about the other day. It's, it's how heartbreaking um, as it is for me to watch my seven-year-old on, on TV here is for you guys and what you had to endure and what you had to go through. I was so happy that we got the playoff game on the road um, where you guys were at least able to catch one game, at least one Saturday of normalcy where you're able to cheer them on. But I just, I, I can't imagine what this year has been like for you and all of our seniors, of all of our athletes that have had to endure this. Um, that being said, today is your day, if not, you know, if not just as much, more, more so than the athletes. Like I said, it's been 18 years worth, or 17 or 19 years worth, of taking them to practices, of investing time, energy, love into your baby. And while they had to put in the work, while they had to obviously put the commitment in to make it work and to realize their dream, they can't be here without you as a support system. So this is your day. Cong you know, obviously I congratulate you from the bottom of my heart. I'm so happy for all of you. We're all happy for you guys. Um, I know it's kind of also a little bit of a sad day because you, you kind of feel like your baby's leaving in, in a couple months, but you know, it's a happy day. It's a great day. And it's one that all of you should rejoice in and be happy and celebrate because all of you had an important and vital role in getting them to this point. So a round of applause for all of our families and all those at home as well who played a key role in getting them to this, to this point. So with that being said, let's get started with our first one. Um, our first one here at the end, Evan Soto is signing with Lakeland University, which we, we already have, we have two that are signing with Lakeland, and we have a couple of troopers that are up there as we speak in Nathan Carranza and Jose Cerros. And in talking about Evan, Evan's journey has been an interesting one. Um, he didn't start with us. He was actually at another school in town. He transferred over to us his junior year, I believe, started his junior year. Um, but when he transferred over, he had a torn ACL. And so he wasn't even cleared for the first eight months, seven months, wasn't able to wrestle that season, was, you know, wasn't able to play with us his whole junior year. But immediately, I knew that he was different. I knew that he was special. Because even though he wasn't able to do anything because he wasn't cleared, every single day, there was Evan. There was Evan at practice. There was Evan in the locker room. There was Evan on the sidelines. There was Evan to support his team that he barely transferred to. And so when we saw that, we knew immediately that he was going to be a special player whenever his time came to suit up in the blue and gold. I'm so happy you made that choice to transfer over. I'm so happy you finished your career with us. Um, you, immediately, Evan, you, you've been a playmaker since day one. Even when you were hurt, you were constantly making us a better football team. And immediately got accepted into the family because of that attitude and because of everything that you gave us and put in without even being able to suit up for us. And yet when you were finally able to suit up, you became everything we knew you would become and even more. So thank you for, I guess, two years. We didn't get you all four, but thank you for a great two years to the family. You guys have raised such a great young man. We know he's going to be successful. We know you're going to tear it up. Uh, in wrestling season coming up, you already had a, w a couple wins last night, I, I think, and, and obviously you're going to tear it up this fall at Lakeland, and we just can't be more happy for you. So uh, without further ado, Evan Soto, and then whoever wants to accompany him to say a couple words on behalf of the family. I just want to start off by saying I want to congratulate all my football brothers here, you know, 
Without them, the team couldn't be how we played this year. I want to congratulate uh, everybody here. And I want to say thank you to my parents, my parents. Man, without them, I don't even think I would play football. My first time putting on a suit, my dad was there by my side. My mom was at every game watching me, protecting me. And it's been an awesome experience to be here today. And then I want to thank Coach Julio Lopez personally. When I first came here, the first two things he told me were, we're going to win a district championship, and you're going to be in a brotherhood like no other. And he's kept his word throughout the whole two years I've been here, and I want to thank him personally for saying that. Thank you, Coach. And thank you again. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Congratulations to all the parents, to all the players. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. I watched my son. I got to coach my son. Little League, growing up, <clears throat> missed a couple of games when I was deployed, but it's been an experience, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Uh, to all the football staff, thank you so much for taking my son in and uh, welcome him to a trooper family. That's all I got to say. God bless, and good luck to everybody. Thank you. The next student athlete we're going to introduce is still over here to our left, and that's Takeem Thomas. He's going to be signing with Oklahoma Panhandle State University. You know, with Takeem, um, again, with all, the, with all these kids, we can always talk about their journeys as football players. That's the easy part. I think that, you know, they, they've been doing it their whole life, and talking about how good of a football player they are is pretty easy because they're all playing college football. So obviously they have to be pretty good. Um, and they won a district championship. So, you know, obviously the talent is there, and we can go on for, for hours talking about all of their journeys as football players. But especially with a guy like Takeem, he transferred over to us his sophomore year. Um, when he transferred over, I, I think he'd be the first to admit it was a little bit of a hard transition, and he went through some, some bumps in the road as far as maybe being a little bit immature. And I think he'd be the first to admit that. But so much of our joy as coaches is seeing these young men flourish and mature in front of our eyes and grow up in front of our eyes. His junior year got cut short. Um, he only played in a couple of games. He had a, a foot injury that he ended up having to have surgery on. But his senior year, I mean, he just dedicated himself and was a guy that we, we counted on and made a lot of great plays for us. But again, more so than anything that he did on the field, I'm just proud of the young man that Takeem has become. I'm proud of the maturity that he's shown in our program. I have no doubt that this is just a start of something great for Takeem in his life, and that he's gonna go into society after he's done playing football, he's gonna be a great father, a great husband, um, and it's all, you know, again, for us these last three years, we've seen them all, it's just all happened really in the last year and a half, where we've seen that, that click, that change. And as soon as it did, he became as dominant as we felt he could be, and he became as dominant as we knew he could be. And again, I just, it's been so much fun to see the journey that he's taken as a young man in our program. I have no, you know, Oklahoma Panhandle State is getting an absolute steal in this kid. Because when you talk about just athletic ability now, I could easily argue that Takeem is one of the probably top five athletic kids in the city with just the size, athleticism, and everything he brings to the table. So Takeem, we're happy for you, man. O OPSU is getting a steal and we know you're gonna make us proud and you're gonna make your family proud and you're gonna be a great, you know, great role model up there and a great player. So without further ado, Takeem Thomas. Hello, um, I would just like to start off by saying that I just wanna thank my family, my dad especially, he made, he tried to make it to every game he possibly could. If not, he did make it to every game he could. And he was honestly my number one supporter. He was always there. Whenever I messed up, he was always there for me. I also want to thank my mom. She's not here right now. She's in Boston, a whole nother state, but she watched every game that she possibly could. Even though she didn't know what was going on, she did watch it. I want to thank my team. I, I wouldn't be the man I'd become without my team, without my brothers or the coaches staff. 
I would not be here today. I would not be able to talk where I am right now without anybody. Thank you. Hello, let me congratulate all the team, team members, parents, you know, y'all raised excellent kids. Like I said, it was a team effort, so one wouldn't be here without the others. I just want to break, break Takeem down a little bit for you guys. I actually put Takeem into like Little League when he was real young, and I had to stop because he was trash. Like he was, hey, like, you know, I told him like, you know, he was show did one year and that was it. So Takeem was the type of person where you can't force him to do something. So middle school came, you know, he hang around with friends, he joined football, he said, Dad, I want to join football. I was shocked and kind of like, uh-oh. And I said, okay. So he joined the football team and he excelled. Like, he shocked me. And from middle school to high school, graduating, his level just increased constantly. And Coach Lopez even told me he's seen it in Takeem when he first, you know, played for the team. And I've been trying to tell everybody, like, at first, hey, I didn't see it, but then I saw it. And, like, I know, Takeem, you can go far. You got to put your mind to it. And even Coach Lopez said you're immature at times, but you're growing out of that. Just keep moving forward. I'm always here for you. You know, and I wish the best for everybody out here right now. Thank you. Next up, we'll stay on the left side. And, you know, Joe Immediato, well, he already signed. So he wasn't able to go through our signing day celebration the first time, but at that point he had already signed his, his scholarship and letter of intent, and so we're elated and excited that the family is able to go through signing day today. You know, when Joe got to us, um, it's funny, I was, you know, I was talking to his dad before, and, and he mentioned that football wasn't necessarily maybe his first love, you know, and it was kind of always kind of second behind, um, you know, wrestling, and when he first got to us, I'll be honest, uh, we were so excited to have him because we knew how, I mean, we knew, hey, this guy could be an NFL player one day, like, it just physically, right, and talent-wise, but that was always kind of a, a fear of ours early was that he wasn't going to, you know, finish with us. He wasn't going to play, uh, you know, football all four years, and it was always a fear of ours. It was always a fear of Coach McCage. I don't know how many conversations we had just praying that Joe would, you know, just would continue to grind and stick with the process, and I feel like over those four years, not only has Joe grown um, literally, obviously, but you know, as a football player and physically, but in his love, his true love and passion for the sport, which I think you've seen over the last two years specifically. He's a three-year starter for us. He's played a lot of football for us. Um, he's a guy that, you know, there's two district titles out here where he's had a key role in both of them. Those are the only two district titles in the last uh, 25 years, 26 years here at Eastwood since 1994, and he was a he played a major role in both of those. You know, when you look at Joe and you look at what UTEP is getting, I'm not kidding when I say that, and we were joking around about it before, but you know, basically when we look at Joe in the next five years, we could be looking at an NFL player with his athleticism, with his size, but more so than that, I'm just so proud of the just the humble kid he is. I mean, he, he's a, a true gentle giant, I feel. Sometimes we want him to be a little meaner, I guess, at times. But, you know, we just, we just love the player that he's turned into, the leader that he's turned into. Um, he's a kid that, you know, over, over, over the course of four years, we've seen him accomplish so much within the program. I'm so happy for the family. Um, I know that for four years, it was constant juggling of football and wrestling and how are we going to make the wrestling tournament and how, coach, we have a game that weekend and how... And somehow you did it, and you got to this point. And one neat story about Joe and how it all paid off. You know, God, I, I really believe God works in mysterious ways, but when Joe was getting recruited by UTEP, one of the main things that put them over the top with offering and finally making that jump was his wrestling team, which how ironic and, and how crazy that over the years, um, the family was always out of town, always balancing cutting weight and, and all of that. And here they are at the senior year, for Joe, and it's wrestling that played just as key a role as football in getting him a Division One scholarship. So, Joe, to the family, we love you guys. We're gonna miss you. It's gonna be weird not seeing you on the offensive line because you just—it feels like you've been here for 10 years with us. But um, you know, we're just so happy. And UTEP, 
got an absolute steal. Uh, he's going to flourish there. And like I said, it wouldn't surprise us one bit if in five years, uh, hopefully we're invited to New York for a draft party or something to celebrate him going to, it, to the NFL. So Joe, to the family, we love you guys. We're just so proud of you. Off, thanking the entire coaching staff for all the hard work that you guys put in to help all of us. Without you guys, we literally wouldn't be standing here. Um, so I just want to say thank you to all of you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, next, I want to thank my entire family for putting up with me through all, all of these years and helping me throughout this entire journey of, of life and the entire college recruiting process and everything. Uh, finally, I just want to I want to thank God for all the great great opportunities that He's given me and all these amazing chances that he's given me throughout life and everything. Without him, I would have probably never would have been standing here at all. And I just want to thank him for everything that he's done. So thank you. First of all, I want to congratulate everybody out here. You guys, you know, have become part of our family. The coaches, you know, we're thank you for everything. Thank you for pushing him, for standing behind him during all of his oops, during all of his struggles. Um, he, we've definitely had ups and downs, you know, um, but all the support that you all have given us, you know, has been great. We will definitely miss you all. We want to thank, you know, the man upstairs for everything. It has been, you know, a struggle beating him, you know? Um, you know, that's like a huge struggle, everybody, seriously. But um, it, I mean, getting this offer was just, you know, amazing, you know? And, and we are very blessed, you know? And we're very excited that he gets to stay home. And I know a lot of you all will be missing your little ones, but we will be supporting them, you know, definitely. You know, even from here and no matter what, you know, we're troopers, you know. So go troop and we will miss you and we will keep supporting you all. And thank you so much for everything from the bottom of our hearts, you know. Thank you. By now, by now, I think we're just all wearing Lysol and hand sanitizer as our colognes and perfumes. Okay, next up from behind, over here, is Ryan. Hopefully everybody can see him. I'll, I'll move out of the way. I'll, I'm going to pull it off just so you can see him. But Ryan, you know, and a lot of these kids, we talk about how, how dedicated they are, committed they are, and Ryan is one of those prime examples. A kid that every day, I, I don't care if it was on a random Saturday or Sunday in the spring, at my son's team all practice, we used to go to the school, but and I see Ryan there working by himself or a random day after school when I go out there and Ryan is doing laps and doing drills. He is a testament along with a lot of these kids to just what hard work does for them. This is a kid that put in the work, he put in, and you know, receiver is a tough position. Uh, I played him my whole life, and receiver is an absolutely tough position because you are at the mercy of so much, right? You're at the mercy of the quarterback goes to what the play calls or how, how the play shakes out, what side of the field you're on. You might be open and break, you know, away from a defender, the bus and coverage, you know, wide open and they don't see you. And I, I know how, in a lot of ways, I know Ryan, you know, leading up to the senior year, he wanted more of the touches, more of the ball, more of the, and it's just a position where sometimes it doesn't work your way when you're open and you want it. But Ryan was a consummate team. He was the person that put the team first. All the hard work that he's done, I think that that's what college coaches are drawn to. They're drawn to kids who you can immediately see how much football means to them, how much you love the game. And I'm just so proud of all the work that you've put in over the years, Ryan. I'm proud of the young man that you have become with us. I know your family is very proud. Probably a little sad, but really proud. And I know you're the baby again. But, you know, I, I'm just so proud of everything that you've accomplished with us. You know, to play receiver for us and be one of those really four that are in the game at all times. Um, you know, so I, I feel like we're a wide receiver. You, you have a couple here that are signing today. And really, it's your leadership and, and along with your, your seniors and your teammates. But it's the work ethic that the younger kid group would see on you. And that we all noticed immediately that has gotten you to this spot. So whether 
I just want to start off by thanking my merciful God. You know, um, in the beginning of my senior season, I was mentally preparing myself to play my last season of football. As I, at the time, I had no offers actually. So, and in the end, uh, for Him to open so many doors for me and give me so many opportunities to play college football, it was just truly a blessing. And uh, I just also want to congratulate all the players that are signing here today. You know, just living out our childhood dreams. It's just all crazy to us. Uh, next, I do want to thank my family for sitting behind me right now. Uh, they all have supported me through thick and thin and good and bad, so I, I, I really appreciate it. And um, especially my mom, you know, who has sacrificed so much for not only me, but my entire family. You know, she's given us more than we could have ever asked for. So it's just, I'm very grateful for my mom and all that she's done. And lastly, I just want to thank the entire East School community, you know, to all the coaches that I've had, all the great coaches who have coached me, to all the teachers who have taught me, and to the rest of the faculty and staff. I truly appreciate you all, and thank you so much for everything that you guys do. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Heather. I am Ryan's oldest sister, his second mama. Um, first, I want to congratulate all of the boys here. You know, it's, it's a lot of work. You know, you guys did great, the best that you could with the year that you had. And I am so, so sorry you guys have had to go through what you did. But it's a huge accomplishment. And congratulations to the parents, because it takes a lot of work to get these boys to where they are. A lot of dedication and a lot of waking up early. And as she said, a lot of feeding the poor boys. Um, but congratulations. I want to thank the, well, we as a family want to thank the Eastwood community. Uh, of course, the coaching staff as well as the administration. Thank you guys for supporting and believing in my brother for the past four years. We want to thank Howard Payne for uh, having the confidence in Ryan and accepting him into the Yellow Jacket family. We are super, super excited to see him compete at the next level. I want to thank uh, Top View Fitness for pushing him and just really working on him to be the best version of himself. And of course, to my little brother, Ryan, you had a late start in the sport that you love. And we can tell you so many times how proud of you we are. But you should be really proud of yourself. You set a goal, even with the pandemic, even with the crazy year that we had. You worked hard, you strived to be better, and look where that's gotten you. Like I tell you always, you show up and you show out 100% every time. Never second guess your abilities and never get too comfortable. And yes, you are the baby of our family, but you're also one of the biggest examples to your nephews and your niece. <clears throat> I'm sorry. No matter where the journey in life takes you, we will always be here to support you and we will always have your back. Always give it your all. Always accept nothing less than what you deserve. We love you and congratulations. Next up is this young man here and his family to my right. And it, it's, he's another guy that, uh, he's been a three-year starter for us. So he had a big hand in, in two district championships, not just one. But, you know, it's hard to believe that AJ is leaving us. I mean, I think for years, we just got so used to seeing him on the field, 
seeing him in big moments, seeing him making play after play with that big smile where he kind of leans back and he just, you just see all his pearly whites through the helmet. But, you know, AJ is just one of those kids and all these kids, but, you know, AJ is just one of those guys that over the years, as dependable and reliable as you can be. You know, we always talk to our kids about what you, what can, you know, what do you want to be known as? What do you want to be described as? If somebody had to describe you with one word, what is that one word? And with AJ, I just see dependability. I see the guy that's going to bring it every single day to practice. I see the guy that's going to mentor our young kids. I saw a guy that we asked him to be our holder. There he is being our holder. We asked him to do everything for us and always with a smile on his face. One of the most coachable kids, one of the best attitudes I've ever been around. Uh, again, I, I, we can go on and on. And I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this too. Um, if we would have had a normal year, I firmly believe he would have broke every receiving record we maybe would have had here. I mean, and I, I think that highly of him as the production that he had over three years with us. Um, and we've had some great ones. We have two here of the starting four that are signing, another one that has an offer. And those guys just work so well together. And, and again, between Ryan and AJ and the leadership they bring to us, I'm just so happy for the family. I'm so happy, AJ, that you're going to move on to the next level. Southwestern is getting the best, I think, one of the best in Texas, in my opinion. And I just have no doubt that you're going to make all of us proud and you're going to keep smiling like we've seen for the last four years. So, you know, good luck. And like I said, Southwestern is just getting an absolute steal. AJ does that. First off, I would like to say uh, congratulations to all the players here. Uh, you guys have been my brothers since uh, middle school, besides them and Takeem, but you guys made a big impact in my life. Uh, I want to say thank you to the coaches for always believing in me, always getting me to the next level. Uh, without you guys, I, I wouldn't be here where I'm at right now. Uh, I want to say thank you to my family, especially my mom. Uh, she's she's done everything for me. She's been my backbone since the start of it. Um, without her, I wouldn't be the man I am today. And um, it just yeah, I just can't wait for what the future holds for us. So thank you. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for this opportunity that you guys gave my son. You guys were great coaches. Um, you were always there for him, pushing him, um, making him better, and always, you know, just being there and, and guiding him, and I, I thank you very much for that. Um, I, of course, want to congratulate everybody here. Um, you know, you guys are amazing. You've been a great family to my son, and I can't thank you all enough for that. Um, also, I just want to go ahead and thank the Lord above for this opportunity that he gave my son, watching him from youth. Up until now, it's been a great blessing, and I am just so proud of my son, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for him. Thank you. Next up, we'll go back here to Jonah Wheeler, who is another one of our players that is joining a, a couple of our players up at Lakeland. And, you know, with Jonah, you know, you look at his time with us, over four years, and he's just another one that I'm so proud of the young man that he's become. Um, and when you look at his two years at DB for us, it's so interesting to go back on the tape because teams just did not throw his way all that too much, you know, all that often. And that's really a testament to him being in the right moment or in the right place at the right time. It's a testament to how coachable he was, a guy that we relied on on defense over two years to make plays for us, to get the big assignment, to, to shut down somebody on the outside. And we're just so happy with how you're ending your career with us. It's been a fun journey. I know it's been one where we've had some conversations in, our, in my office that, um, you know, just talking about life, I mean, in general. And those are the moments that I look back on. And with all of our kids, I, I cherish even more so than everything that they've done on the field. It's seeing Jonah's journey with us, the four years of battling ups and downs at times, but yet through it all, 
being consistent at practice, being a guy that we can count on, being a guy that's going to do what he's coached to do. And it got him to this moment. It got him to this moment where he's signing a letter of intent to continue his career at the next level. And that's because of everything that you had to fight through. That's because of everything you were able to accomplish. That's because of all the, the days and hard work that you put into your craft at DB, which is a very hard position to play. But you, you did it. And you did it with, again, being one of the most coachable kids we, can, we, we have, being a guy that Coach Bell can count on, being a kid that we know is gonna do great things at Lakeland. Lakeland's getting a great, a great kid in Jonah. And we're just so excited that now we're gonna have four up there. So we're gonna have to get up there for a game maybe one day in the next couple years. But um, Jonah, we're just so happy for you and the family. We're happy for everything that you've accomplished. We love you guys and, and we wish you nothing but the best. Jonah Wheeler. First off, I'd just like to thank God for giving me the opportunity to uh, use my talents to further my education. But I'd like to thank my coaches, uh, Coach Lopez and all of them, especially Coach Bell for just being there for uh, kind of being just more than a coach. Well, all my coaches especially have been there for my hard times. I'd just like to thank them for that. And then I'd like to thank my parents, of course, uh, my dad, my mom, for just really helping me get to this level. And then, of course, uh, all my brothers that are signing here today, and that has always pushed me on and off the field to always just be a better version of myself. And I'd just like to thank everybody in the music community that has always been supportive. Thank you. Well, what a great day indeed. And all, all of you young men deserve a lot. You know, uh, uh, we've seen it, been watching a lot of you since you were this big and just giving it all that you can. You got parents here that are proud of you. You guys have coaches here are proud of you. So all you guys, give your coaches and parents a big applause in itself. One thing, since Jonah was a little guy, he's like, Dad, shut up already. But he, he's always been running hard, and we thought we've got to get him in something. All of our kids have either been musicians or athletes, so he's our last one out. And I think he was the one that gave us the most run for our money. And we thought, well, we've got to get him in something. And we knew he's so athletic, so we thought we're going to put him in something that, that gives him some discipline. And him and his, his older brother, they got him to karate. By, I think it was seven years old, he had his black belt because he was determined. But one of the biggest things that we got out of that coaching is that what the uh, Dujos had told him all the time is that whatever you do, it takes courage, consistency, and commitment. And those three C's, gentlemen, are things that will take you even further. And that's why you're going to the next step. So big thanks to you, Jonah. We're so proud of you. Just keep up the courage, the consistency, and commitment. Be determined and persevere and know that God alone has great things in store for you, amen. And last, but certainly not least at the end, we have Jake Urbina. And, and the neat part about this is, again, you wanna talk about you know, kids going up to a certain place together and, and being troopers and now becoming some, you know, obviously a, a different mascot, but at a different school. But Jacob will be joining Ryan and they'll be both be going to Howard Payne. And in another twist to that, Austin Valdez, who went to Eastwood Middle, was here at Eastwood and obviously a very close friend to a lot of, a lot of our seniors. He's also signing with Howard Payne. So the three of them were up there on their visit. They all committed. They're all gonna be up there playing again together. You know, with Jake, I, I talked about it with Ryan right now, and, but you know, it, it's the same thing with Jake. Every time that I looked out my, my door, anytime I walked out to the field, anytime that there was, that, that gate was unlocked, Jake was there working. And it was a constant work ethic. It was a constant uh, will and, and determination to just always be better, always be better. You know, and then, he's, and then he was one of the main ones you see with the gallon of water, with his diet, with all the, the workouts he's doing with Top View and, and, and here and there. 
And again, just a kid that when, when you look back on his career, when you look at everything that you've been able to accomplish, what an example for your little brother. I think that that's one of the most important things, and Justice is sitting over there, that's one of the most important things that you can set and that you don't maybe understand or realize, but a lot of our, our kids obviously have them here today um, and our kids in the program have them at home, is the example that you set for the little ones after you. And the best compliment I can give Jake is that if Justice ever wanted to look up to somebody, and if Justice ever wanted to look at somebody and say, that's who I gotta model my game after, that's how I gotta model my work ethic, my determination, my attitude, how, I t how serious I take the game, you don't have to look any further than your own household and your big brother. And Jake, I think that, that you know, I know your family is so happy for you. Um, I, I know that they're excited. And I think that at the end of the day, I can sit here and talk about how good of a football player you are, um, how great of a safety you were, how intelligent you were, how, you know, how, how much of a student of the game you were. But at the end of the day, I just think that that's the ultimate compliment, is that you showed the way for your little brother. And I think that, you know, that's going to go a long way in his career. Uh, we're all going to be rooting for you guys, all of you guys, but it's just been a pleasure to watch you over four years develop into the young men that you've become. So, Jacob Urbina, Howard Payne University. Hello. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God for the, the endless opportunities and blessings that he's uh, provided me with. And uh, second of all, I want to say congratulations to all of you guys. All of you deserved it. All of you guys became my family especially the coaches too. I really thank everything that you guys have done for me. I also want to thank my family for just absolutely everything. I, I can't even put it into words, <clears throat> the amount of support and love that you all have had for me. And, uh, that goes on to my, my other family watching from home too, and my girlfriend as well, and her family, and then my friends as well. And uh, I just want to say uh, thank you for everything, as well as the uh, Eastern community. Thank you. Um, there, there's so much to say in so very little uh, time, but really want to congr congratulate all the families here. Uh, great student athletes that I think all of us collectively can say that they're going to make a big, big impact not only in the sport, but just in the community that they're going to. So uh, it's such a blessing, such a blessing. And, and I, I wish you all the, the very best. Um, I can't thank uh, the whole Eastwood family, the coaches, uh, the teachers. You know, you sacrifice so much of your time and that weighs gold. You don't have a set time and what you do is bigger than just build these student athletes and what they do on the field. But what you're doing is that you're building character and great men, young ladies, and what they're doing is that they're gonna take that elsewhere. And that's the biggest impact. I know that I've had some conversations with the coaches and our family and, and, and I are, are so indebted to you because that's where it starts. They spend more time with you, they spend more time with their teachers, then they spend time with us. So you guys are such a guiding light for them. So I can't thank you enough. Our family can't thank you enough. Uh, Jacob, so proud of you, son. Uh, the impact that you're gonna make now uh, is, is for you to, to create. So we're very proud of you. And again, congratulations to all the families. Thank you.